Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. I've got two lens cases here to review. The Low Pro one and a JJC one. These are the biggest ones they actually do. Um, they claim it will fit a 300mm 2.8 lens as well as your uh, big tele zooms like the uh, Sony 200 to 600. I've got an RF 800 here and the Sigma 150 to 600. Doesn't specifically say it will fit the RF 800. However, I wanted to get these two cases and see if it would fit a big lens I've just bought. So, um, I just want to talk about them and see if they fit. First of all, uh, let's tell you about the size. So this is 13 centimeters wide by 32 centimeters long. The JJC one is 14 centimeters wide and 37 centimeters long. Um, they, they all come with straps. Um, um, the, the buckles on the JDC are plastic, but there, there is two buckles on the top of the low pro one which are metal. So you probably might think that's a bit more um, secure than the JJC one. However, I, I want to just test them out to see if they fit first of all. One important thing to note, I was advised by someone that the 300 2.8 um, L lens would fit in the low pro one um, with the lens hood reversed and attached that's not entirely accurate I found the rubber on the lens hood to stop it actually going in and out um, a solution I found to that was simply put put a plastic bag around your lens and it, and it will, will fit in there and there will be no resistance to pulling it out so um, you know, my, my tip of the day is if you've got a, a big lens and the lens hood has rubber around it and it, it, it will, you know, resist coming out because of the fabric, um, put a plastic bag around your lens and then it will slip in and out. Okay? So, like I said, both, both of these um, cases come with um, straps. Um, one thing I will say about the JJC one is it comes with an insert. If I just pull that insert out, and get that insert out, it comes with this insert, um, which is an extra padded um, piece of cardboard with some foam underneath. And put that in, and it gives you some added protection. So, in that respect, the JJC seems to protect your lens better. And the low pro do, does because that just has your basic your basic um, padding at the bottom while the JJC one um, has some padding it's got like a, a piece of card there uh, with some um, material around it and then the insert so um, in terms of thickness of the foam I think it's more or less comparable so um, it's up to you which you think is a bit better but Personally, I like the JJC one. It seems to be slightly a tiny bit more protection than the low pro does in terms of the bottom part of the uh, bag. So, I wanted to see if the, um, these could actually fit my lenses, obviously. So, I have an RF800. Let's see if we can pop that in there. Now, it doesn't quite fit with the lens hood on. But saying that, I think we might be able to get it to fit. It might be a tight fit. Let's have a look. Just about, just about fits with the lens hood on. The reason why you might want to leave the lens hood on is it's just so much quicker to pull out, like so, you know. However, let's have a look. Because you might be thinking, could I put an extender on, on the 800 and have it fit as well? Well, I think if you take the lens hood off, reverse it, Put it back on. Don't forget, I've got camo on these lenses as well. And then slot that in. There's about three inches on top of the lens cap. I don't know if you can see that in the video there. You know, so I would thought you could put um, an extender on there quite easily, um, and it would fit in the bag no problem. Um, so let's just pull that out, and that's that's the big RF 800 lens. Um, obviously I've got the Sigma Contemporary 150 to 600 put that in there fits in there comfortably um, just show you the top there so you can see 
then that's with the lens hood on. Again, let's take it out, take the lens hood off, reverse it, put it back on, pour it back in, and there's probably four inches, about four inches there. So you can certainly put an extender on and that would fit no problem. Um, you know, just for the sake of it, although this is a bit pointless, I've got other lenses. Just get that lens hood out. We have the uh, RF 800, sorry, RF 600 here. Put that in there. And obviously, there's a ton of room. That's with the lens hood on, you know. Um, so, you're going to be happy with this large bag from JJC. Um, construction of it is pretty good. It, it, they come with uh, a shoulder strap as well, with a bit of padding, which is actually a bit better than what gets supplied um, with the low pro one. Because the low pro one does have um, a strap there, and it has like a, a buckle belt system here with Velcro. So, you just un Velcro that, take the Velcro off, you put your belt through there. Um, and there's some additional straps as well. Um, Re-velcro it, put that velcro back over, and you can have that on the on the side of your 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 shoulder. <coughs> uh, I'm sorry, your your hip, if you wanted to, um, on a on a belt. So that that's quite nice. So um, personally, I would certainly recommend you have a strap round your shoulders anyway, um, because that velcro could come loose if you had a really heavy lens in. Um, so we've tested the JJC one in terms of size and putting things in. Let's see the low pro one. Um, it's not completely a circular. So we have the Sigma, um, sorry, the RF800 here. So let's just put that in. Does it fit? Mm, not quite. Does it zip up? Let's have a look. Zip up. Does it zip up? Uh, okay. Yes, it does. So it, it, it just about fits, just. Um, but you have to reverse the lens hood. Um, let's have a look at the RF um, 600, put that in. That fits pretty much flush um, with the lens hood on, so that's okay. Um, let's get the Sigma Contemporary lens, put that on there. Will that fit um, just about. No problems there. Um, however, I don't think you can say the same if you had the lens hood attached. Let's just attach the lens hood on here. See if we can get that to fit. The answer is no. Um, however, JJC one, put that in with the lens hood. Yes, it fits, no problem. So, in terms of these long telephoto zoom lenses, um, both of them are adequate for the job. You've got no major problems there. Problem I found um, with these was when I tried to put a bigger lens in. A lens these both say they should fit. Um, so, you know, I saw someone on YouTube who bought a a lens like this, which is the 300 2.8 lens, and claimed. With the lens hood reversed, it should fit. Um, when, that, when technically speaking is correct, it will just about fit. However, when you try pulling it out, it, the, it's so tight because of the rubber on the actual lens hood, you, you have a hard job getting it out of there, really hard. So, I come up with this hack really, which is simply a plastic bag. I know it's simple, um, but then you've got no resistance on the rubber against the fabric of uh, the protection inside. Um, incidentally, if I were to rate the side protection walls of the foam, um, it's a bit firmer and a bit thicker than the JJC one, if you're wondering. So, the low pro one does seem to be slightly better padded um, at the bottom, but a lot better on the sides. Um, it's just a bit thinner on the sides, but then again, at the end of the day, protecting your lens at the bottom is where it counts because that's where your glass is. Um, so that's why I think the JJC one is a little bit better in terms of its protection because they offer this insert, which essentially is a piece of cardboard, 
and some um, firm foam underneath. Um, in terms of the protection already in there, before you put that in, um, I would say this feels like it's just a bit of key, uh, a bit of cardboard really. That's it. So really, in terms of protection, they're comparable with each other. Um, but obviously, trying to fit a big 2.8 lens like this in these bags is not easy. Um, so let's just try and put that in here and uh, try and fit in there. And I, I must admit with you, it is a very tight fit. Although it will fit, it will fit just about. Um, and if you've got a strap on there, you can like wrap it around the top, like so. And then you should be able to close the bag. Let's close the bag up. Um, and let's just strap it up. Uh, zip it up, sorry. Okay, so technically speaking, a 2.8 lens will fit with the lens hood reversed, but it is a tight fit, a very tight fit. Um, so it only just about fits. Um, let's have a look at the JJC one. You may prefer the JJC one. In fact, I was thinking about sending one of these back, but I may keep both. So I've got one for my long telephoto zoom lenses, like the RF 800, the Sigma 150 to 600, the RF 600. Um, I've even got the Canon 100, 100 to 400 Mark II. Uh, let's just get that out so you can have a look um, and get an idea. So I'll put the Canon 100, to, let's zoom it all the way out so you can see it zoomed out as, you know, will it fit? Yes it will, just about. That's with it fully zoomed. Um, you can see there, you know, it's fully zoomed. Let's zoom it in, give you an idea. Remember, we've got the lens hood on. And again, have a look there, you've got plenty of room, haven't you? Plenty of room in there. Um, you could fit an extender on there, two times extender, no problem. But I tell you what, while you're here, let's do that. I've got the, the two times extender here. Let's fit an extender on there, take the lens cap off. This one on. Other way around, sorry. Okay, that's the two times extender on. Let's see if we can fit that in with the lens hood on. So there you go. Fits perfectly, and that's 800 mil. So that's nice. It fits. So we've established that that lens will fit the JJC one. Let's uh, take this out, this uh, 2.8 lens, and um, it might be a struggle to fit camo on, on your 2.8 lens and get it to fit in this bag, if I'm honest with you. Um, however, let's see if it's a bit easier to put it in the JJC one. So we've got the plastic bag there. Uh, I've got the strap that I'm pulling on just to get the damn thing out. It's not easy uh, because the rubber restricts movement. Um, let's see how it goes in here. Is it going in there a bit smoother? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a lot easier. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of room in there. So, have a look. Yeah, again, you could put an extender on there, no problems. As you can see, it fits. Um, so, essentially, that's the two. Um, bags really. Um, price, price. So, the Low Pro one is about 54 quid and the JJC one is about 27 quid. So, there's a bit of a price difference there. Um, but essentially, are they as good as each other? I'd say they are. Um, something I've not mentioned actually on the back of here is there's a strap. Uh, with a bit of velcro, you unstrap it, pull it up, put your belt on there so you can have it on your hip, re velcro and back on and secure it. So that's something I haven't mentioned. And also, this JJC lens does have like straps going around it, you may have noticed. Um, so, obviously, that's adding some extra uh, protection. Um, and obviously, you, you could potentially put a strap. If, you, if you're a bit 
conscious about safety, um, attach another strap to this um, strap that's down here, um, and then obviously have the sh shoulder strap on your shoulder as well, and maybe get another p piece of um, strapping uh, from the bottom um, to attach to your main strap. Um, in terms of the buckles of the straps, the plastic, they're not metal. Would have liked to have seen metal strap, um, buckles on there just to give you some confidence that it wouldn't break at any point. Um, so, without further ado, let's take a closer look at these so you can see it um, in you know, a better look at them. And then that's it, really. Uh, I just wanted to show you them. Um, in terms of my opinion, I think they're as good as each other, really. Um, one's cheaper than the other, obviously. Um, I think the JJC is, is a bit better for longer lenses. Um, and I think my 2.8 lens fits a bit better in this bag. But it's, uh, it's not as well padded on the sides. <coughs> anyway, without further ado, let's have a look at them in, in a closer um, view. Right, I just wanted to show you these bags uh, close up so you can, can get a good look at them. So this is the JC bag, as you can see I've got my lens in there, so let's just take that out. Um, I did have strapped it to the straps of the lens to make it easy to pull out. Let's just pull that out. Right, put that bag back there. Um, yeah, I think they're, they're comparable to each other. Um, the low pro one is slightly better built, but let's just have a look at the JJC bag. So. Here we've got a little bit of netting so you can put some things like um, accessories. Um, you've got straps that go all the way around and on the back you've got this area as I showed you earlier on which is velcro. It's like a, a belt strap so to get this open and put your belt through you just un velcro that, un velcro that and then you put your belt through there, put that back and re reattach it. Um, it comes with these plastic latches, um, I would have liked to have seen those made out of metal, wouldn't have been a big difference in price to do so, um, however, you know, it, it serves its purpose. It comes with this, this um, padded strap here, but the ends of these attach, you know, these um, clips, they're plastic, would have liked to have seen those made out of metal. And here's the insert that I wanted to show you. It's basically a piece of cardboard um, with some um, padding. So you basically would put that in there. You know, it is contoured, so you know which way to put it in. So I'd, I'd put it in like that, bottom like that. I just want to show you the, the inside. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, and essentially, <coughs> you put your big lens in there. So um, let's just get. Get my, my Sigma, sorry, this is the uh, um, RF lens in it. It's the RF 800 in there. As you can see, fits nicely. Uh, that's with the lens hood reverse, obviously. Um, get the Sigma contemporary, even with the lens hood on. Put that in there. Again, it only just about fits, doesn't it? Just about fits. Um, if we take this out, take the lens hood off or reverse it, put this back in. As you can see, there's a, there's a lot of room there and you could probably have that 1.4 extender there and it still wouldn't come out, protrude out of the bag. So essentially, that's a £27 bag for your lens. And as I've said, let me just show you again just about fits my my Canon 2.8 L lens with its, its lens hood on. Um, taking the lens hood off makes it a lot easier to go in and out but it can be a bit of a struggle to get it in and out especially with the rubber. I just want to show you this. It's got a rubber uh, bit around the actual lens hood which makes it difficult to get in and out without using a plastic bag. So, that's the JJC one. I would highly recommend it. I'll put links in the description box if you want to get your own. Um, but, for the price, it's not bad. And again, um, the size is 14 centimeters wide by 37 centimeters long. 
So that's the JJC bag. So let's just put that aside and have a look at the Low Pro bag here. So the Low Pro bag is made um, from an established company. It's been around for a long time. The size it is a bit smaller though in terms of width. So on here, 13 centimeters by 32 centimeters long. Um, it has um, again a similar sort of thing to the JJC in terms of Velcro. Uh, belt buckle where you can put something in I would say it's slightly better protected here though because there is these other two latches here where you could uh, secure your belt a bit better um, so again it latches over and velcros but it's still it's still nevertheless um, it gives you extra confidence I suppose that you wouldn't lose it and there's a strap here obviously that's attached to these buckles. As mentioned, if you, see, if you can see that in the video there, these buckles are metal. So, it, it could give you a bit more confidence that, you know, plastic can snap, uh, metal less so. Um, in fact, I've never known to have a, a metal uh, buckle snap, you know, um, but plastic ones do. So, that may be a cause of concern regarding the JJC one. But the low pro one is still pretty well made. Now there's no insert to put in here, as you can see in there, it's just a bit of foam. However, I wanted to point this out if you have a look at these side by side. There is a thickness in foam in the side walls, you can see that there. So the JJC one isn't quite as well padded, um, but then again it is a bit bigger as well. So looking at the bag itself, obviously you've got a little area here, netted, netting area here to put accessories it's a, a bit smaller so it's about five centimeters smaller than the JJC one put them side by side you can see that um, but in terms of fitting your lens in again I'll show you so here is the Sigma Contemporary a bit heavier lens um, without lens hood on and it just about fits um, obviously you won't be able to have your lens hood on like you can with the JJC one here is the RF800, let's see if that fits. Uh, it sort of protrudes a little bit, but if you, if you, you know, zip it up, you can see a bit of a bump there, but it still just about fits, just about. Um, so that's fine. So those of you who've got the Sony, it's 200 to 600, um, I suspect that you'd be able to fit uh, that lens in these, no problem. Um, here is the RF 600. Let's put that in with the uh, lens hood on. Again, that fits no problem. No major problems there. Um, let's have a look at my Canon 100-400 Mark II L with extender. Put that on there. Obviously, the extender protrudes, so you would have to take the extender off or reverse your lens hood or take it off altogether. So if we just like reverse it. Um, I'll take it off for now and just put it in see what, say how it fits. Um, as you can see, it fits quite well. So no major problems there. Um, I'll just put that back on the lens hood. So, um, essentially, yes, um, most of these lenses are fitting. Uh, the only issue I'm finding is the, the this L lens, this 600 2.8 lens. Sorry, uh, 300 2.8 lens, not 600. Um, and then we try and fit that in. It is a really tight squeeze. It will fit if you're using a bit of plastic. And let's just wrap the strap round. Let's see if we can get this to close. Um, it will just about fit. Um, but what you might find is if you've got camo on your lens, camouflage material like I've got in these lenses here, uh, it sort of makes the lens a bit wider and uh, you may struggle to get it in with camouflage on um, but again you can see it does fit there but getting the lens out is, is quite, a, quite a big challenge and um, that's why I've used a plastic bag to make it easier because that rubber grips the sides of uh, the foam um, material and it stops it coming out it's really hard to get it out so but put it around a plastic bag and it just pops out and slips out so that's my tip of the day 
if you're having a problem with your 300 tip or 8 lens because the rubber's catching on the sides of your um, lens bag, put a plastic bag around it. Anyway, I hope this video was informative on these two uh, lens cases. I'll uh, see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.